What's up, everyone? Today we have this, which is upside down. Um, it is the Epson Perfection V19 scanner. It is a USB-based scanner. Now, before we get started on this video, I'd like to show you this. This is my watch time from subscribers. Now, notice how only 0.3% of all of you are subscribed. So, let's make this percentage go up and... To do that, I would like you to press the subscribe button, and with that, on to the video. All right, let me get my knife. So this is a scanner, it connects through USB. I don't believe it needs anything else to run. And uh, perfect. First thing in the box is the USB cable. So this is, what kind of USB? It is a micro USB cable, which is odd to see on a printer. It's usually, um, let me grab it. This um, type of printer cable you've seen, is a, it's a USB Type B uh, 2.0. But this time, it looks like it uses a micro USB, which is common with um, phones and all. Oh. Instruction manual and the printer, I mean, scanner itself, not printer. Okay, there's a lot of tape on it to hold it together. Not hold it together, obviously, but <laughs> secure it in place during transit. Now let's have a look on it. There it is. There's the mechanism that, well, scans your things. You put your paper on it, and it should scan straight to the computer. And now let's just double check to see if it's 100% powered by USB, and indeed it is. There it is. We will scan a couple things just to just to see how it works. It's a couple documents, you know, some text, maybe picture. Let's just peel off all this tape. Lots of tape on this thing. Now I'm not sure what this does. See, it does that. It could be a stand for it. Uh, it doesn't look too much like one, as it would do that. Handle? I also don't see why. All right, I'll have to read the manual for to figure out what this is. But here it is. I'm gonna zoom in on it so you can look at it. Ignore the blinds at the reflection. Of course, this um, here the hinge can increase in size for if you have like a stack of papers but you only want to scan one of the sheets. On the front, we have four buttons. This looks like PDF. That looks like a picture. That look, also looks like a picture. And I'm not sure what that is, an arrow coming out of the box. I'll have to figure that out. Again, the interior of it. That is glass. So, um, yeah, time to read the manual off camera and scan a couple things. Okay, so I have a few test scans done by this uh, scanner, and if we go to the scanner util utility, uh, we can, here's the, here's the actual thing. It's going to do a preview scan, which means there's nothing on it, really. Did you hear that? 
So it takes a little bit to uh, move the motor all the way over to the other side and back. All right. There's the preview scan. And here is the settings I've chosen for it. Probably the best settings, in my opinion, because anything over 300 DPI, my God, 4,800 DPI. Uh, all these take a very, very long time to scan. 300 is probably the, you know, the sweet spot for scanning uh, in terms of time and quality. 50 is really quick, but that's it. You just need some to. I don't know if you're scanning something not too important, but 300 is good enough. 4,800 took over 10 minutes to scan. I was able to. Yeah, I, I couldn't uh, sit there and wait for it to scan. It was taking too long, so I went to go um, go do other things um, while I waited. Actually, long enough for me to, to eat a, a meal. <laughs> so yeah, 300 seems like the best. U.S. letter, the standard sized uh, sheet of paper. Uh, JPEG, but it can do PDF as well. Okay, here is a scan that I did at 4,800 DPI. Here it is. Give it some time to load. It's such a big file. There it is. I had the lid open when I was doing it, so there's really nothing. There, there's really nothing on it. Like I had the lid open, so it didn't pick up anything. So that is 159.6 megabytes. Get info. Look at the dimensions of... Look at the dimensions of it. It is 40,800 by 52,800. My camera, on the other hand, is only like a few thousand. Like, little over 4K resolution. Um, that's crazy. Uh, the uh, dimensions of it. And compare that to... Um... Oh, wait. Okay, compare that to another scan I did, say, um, <clears throat> it's a more recent one, there it is. What's scan 7 anyway? Oh, this, instructions and stuff like that for this scanner. The dimensions for here is more like a traditional uh, camera at 2,550 by 3,300. That is a more traditional resolution. So uh, it's quite unreasonable to scan at 4,800 DPI. I don't know what you'd be scanning at that point. But let's try scanning something. Adjust the zoom once again. Okay, that looks good. Um, let me choose something to scan. Oh, wrote the owner's manual. Oh, uh, even better. This looks to be a letter-sized piece of paper if you don't unfold it uh, anymore. So, to scan... Oh, wait, no. It is A4-sized, actually, but... All right, then we'll adjust our setting. I was going to show you, it's a little counterintuitive when you scan this because you need to put it this way and normally, you know, it'd look like this at your setup. Uh, the text, the top corner of the page has to line up with that little mark there or it'll be upside down. But of course, we can easily edit that out. So it is an A4 size, just very close to it. So... Let's change the size to A4 at 300 DPI. All the settings look right. These are the best ones in my opinion. I'll close it and press scan.
Okay, uh, it's a pretty quick scan. Now let's have a look at what we have scanned. Uh, it's saved under pictures, scan eight. Here it is, now it looks right. So this is just a bunch of text, which is more likely what you'll be scanning, lots of text. And let's see how big it is, 2.8 megabytes. That is of a decent size for a picture. So just treat this like any other picture around 2.8 megabytes. Yeah, that, that's reasonable. Almost three megabytes. My iPhone's picture is like three point something. Uh, however, that 4,800 DPI uh, picture is 159.6 megabytes. Let's round that up to 160. So yeah, that is a 160 megabyte file. A few of those will be already a gigabyte. Of a few scans, that's essentially a few pictures. So, um, well, that's the kind of review of, well, not review, but quick unboxing and demo of this scanner. There's one more feature, that little thing that folds out. I wanted to show you what it actually is. So, let's do it. Um, I read in the, the owner's manual, Here's what they intend for you to do. They want you to do this and use the scanner like, like that. Now see how it works. Do they intend for you to do this? Doesn't make too much sense. I don't know. Maybe I'll try it out. Maybe it'll make sense to some people, but not to me. I see a scanner as traditionally, you know, like sitting down like this. You know. But that's it. Uh, thanks for watching. Please subscribe and hit the like button if you enjoyed this video. And I will see you next time.